It's my feel good breakfast show. It is no secret we are living in a warp speed world, juggling lots of balls in the air and multitasking, especially if you are a parent. Now, this morning we talked to creative parenting expert Nikki Bush about living in the state of blur and what can be done about it. Nikki, lovely to see you once again. Thank you, Ian. You know what? This is interesting because I always knew that time flies. Okay, time flies regardless. But I, but ever since becoming a parent, it's just so much faster. Everything is a blur. Things pass me by quickly. Uh, you know, you come to the end of the day, it's like, what happened to this past week, this mm. past month, this past year? I mean, what is the feeling that you pick up from parents nowadays? I mean, specifically living in the, the modern day and oh. age. You and there's so much doing when it comes to parenting mm. on top of what we'd have to do in our everyday lives. And living in the digital age, we actually have so many more choices to make in a day. And all of this makes us frazzled and tired. We get exhausted just thinking about it, sure, let alone tell me about it. doing it. <laughs> But actually what happens and the danger of this multitasking warp speed world is actually that we start disconnecting from ourselves, let alone the people around us. We feel like we're losing perspective, like our face is right up against that window pane and we no longer have this lovely perspective of life. And that's when we start dropping balls and when we start making mistakes because everything is just too intense and too fast and we need to learn how to take a step back. And if you don't do that, I mean, it can have a massive impact on your family life. Yes, so relationships with your children, relationships with your partner, even relationships at work, yeah. because you start becoming irritable, being angry, maybe out of character completely. Mm -hmm. And um, we need to keep tabs on our own emotional temperature, because I think when you start feeling yourself getting out of control, that's when you need to take steps to yeah. withdraw and start taking um, steps to mm -hmm. calm yourself down. And I call it making intentional white space in your uh -huh. life. It's about becoming conscious of what's going on inside and then taking a breather. And that's quite hard when you're a very, very busy person. Yeah. So I like to say to people, if, if you haven't already started taking time for yourself every day, start taking time for yourself at least once a week. Okay. Take yourself out so start, for coffee. So start slow. I mean, yeah, start slow. Spend some time. Exactly some like time if you, you were training for your body, That's you it. would take it slow. So take yourself out for a coffee with yourself, with nobody else, and don't engage with your cell phone. Right. Take a piece of paper at most and a pen just to <laughs> engage, to, to write down what comes up if you want to. But yeah. even then, the luxury of sitting doing nothing for 15 to 20 minutes, it's being mindful at the mm. end of the day. You're being mindful about what's going on and you'll be amazed at what comes up. You know, really well, busy you, parents. You know, I can tell you, it's, it's, it's easier said than done, you know, because I've tried that. Obviously, you know, me being in a very busy industry yeah. as well, your mind is constantly running, what's, what's the next what's thing next? you need to do? So the yeah. minute I find myself sitting down, um, you know, I, I already, I, I can't help but think, you know, so you almost yes. have to force yourself. To you almost not think. force yourself to not think. Yes, and just sit and look at what's going on in your environment. Yeah. Because we have that feeling of stop the world, I want to get yeah. off. You know, this is a very intense feeling that many, many people are experiencing today. So that intentional white space is such a conscious effort. And so often we don't do it. And then we go to bed at night and what's the first thing you do? Grab a pen and paper and you start making lists mm. because it's the first time you've stopped in the day. And our children are mirroring exactly this. And we're getting increasing sleep problems with children, not able to fall asleep at night. And if you think about it, children have very little time to what I call potter and ponder. Potter and ponder. Because they are being overscheduled. They're going from one activity to another activity to another one, and then they get home and then it's bath time, supper time, bedtime. Where is the time to do nothing? Let me ask you this. So, so, so there, you know, when it comes to the whole grand scheme of parenting and having kids, there is a little space for boredom. Absolutely. And often when you send your kids off to Potter and Ponder today, they come back and they say, but I'm bored and there's nothing to yeah. play with. And that's the point at which you need to hold your line and not let them get on a device. And we did exactly this when my son was eight years old. He came down to the bedroom on a Sunday morning and said, can I play on the computer? And we just said, no, we're going screen free today. Wow. We are not going to be doing anything on a screen. <gasps> oh, you're so ugly, you're such a horrible mother. And you know, after about three attempts to get us to say yes, he quit. We held our line, he quit, and then the next thing, he came down and he said, Mum, can I have the polystyrene tray that the rump steak's on that we're going to have for the bra later? And I said, yes, boy, what do you want to do with it? And he said, well, I want to make a boat that floats in the pool. How cool. So often if you hold your line and give your children intentional white space mm. and time to get bored, they become resourceful.
and they become creative and they do things they would not have thought they would have done and they surprise themselves. And I remember at the end, end of that day, he came to me and he said, Mom, that was such a great day. Can we have another one like that, please? Oh, awesome. That's great. I mean, it's great to just take a step back, not only for yourself, but I think in terms of you, you know, how you go about raising your kids. You need to make yeah. sure that they, they have that, that, that time of just doing nothing. Yes, because home. if you do that, you get the opportunity to see more, That's to it. do more, to feel more, to hear more, because you're much more alive, awake, and engaged. Absolutely. Nikki, once again, thank you for joining us and also for the great advice. Really appreciate it. Thanks, Ewan. Yeah, it was great. So uh, boredom can be really good for your children, and sometimes we are allowed to create intentional white space in our adult lives. So Nikki, just giving us some great advice this morning to really be the best parent that you can be.